To make the pen, you're going to select two different pieces of wood, one for the bottom of the pen, one for the top of the pen. Sometimes the pens are made with the same species of wood, and sometimes students decide to select two different species of wood. The species that we have are maple, jatoba, purple heart, oak, and birch. You can select the ones that you like best. You do need to pick for practice uh, one piece, which is birch, and then two other pieces. So for my pen, I've chosen to do two pieces of the jatoba, and this is the birch, which I'm using for my practice. You could also use birch for your pen. That's your choice. You need to put your wood into the vise, and then using the ruler and a pencil, draw lines that go from one corner to the other corner. And where those lines meet in the center is the middle of the piece of wood. And we need that for when we go to drill. At the drill press, you're going to insert your block into the vise, lock it down. I'll pull this out to show you, but you don't need to pull it out. You can see that the corners of the wood go into the jaws of the vise. So you've locked it in, you're going to slide it over so that it is underneath the drill bit. And with the drill bit turned on and holding it down, you're drilling into the center of the X. Drill in a short distance, come back up. Drill in further, come back up. Repeat that process, drilling in a bit further each time until you get to the bottom. It will very often squeak because there's a lot of friction between the drill bit and the hardwood that you're drilling into. You need to drill all three of your blocks. Take two of these shiny tubes from the carts and a piece of sandpaper, and they're very smooth and shiny. We need to rough them up. Hold the paper at the edge of the table and holding half of the tube, you're going to wiggle it around trying to put scratches all over that end of the tube. Making it look not very pretty anymore. There should be scratches everywhere on it. And then do the other side. Take as much time as it takes to get it very scratched up and rough so that when we glue this into the wood, the glue can hold on to the scratches. Once you've got two of them scratched up, you're ready to put it together into a package. On the two blocks that you're going to use for your pen, write your name and block number in Sharpie, then take an elastic and wrap it around the two blocks, and then take your two tubes and slide it into the elastic, and then place that into the bin on the cart that is your block, either block one or block two. The extra piece is your practice piece. This stays in your bag, and that's what you're gonna start with first as you begin to work on the lathe.